Now, let's visit 10 streets that changed America in chronological order. Starting with a former Native American road. Let's turn back the clock 400 years before cars and even carriages. Broadway was a major route through Manhattan. And like every early Native American road, it was a perfect path for pedestrians. They picked the highest ground in Manhattan. So if you look at the topography of Broadway, it was following a very logical path on good stable soils that were well drained. Native Americans were even known to pave the way with fire. They would light the little pieces of brush and the grass on fire. And what this did obviously was clear the path. The open road let the native people of Manhattan trade with their neighbors to the north. To trade, yeah, and this trail actually stretched all the way to Canada. Wow, Canada, that way. When the Dutch founded New Amsterdam here in 1625, they built a wall at the end of the road to keep out the English. Broadway ran right up to the wall. Yes, now that's Wall Street. Hence the name. Exactly. The old Native American road became a major artery for the Dutch, reminiscent of the great thoroughfares of the Netherlands, where the upper crust would stroll. One of the names they called it was Gentleman's Street. Yeah, the Heerestraat. They used it for promenading. Like we are. Yes, exactly. We're promenading. But the road itself was less than glamorous. The road was still pretty much dirt. It would have been very busy with Horses, carriages, ox carts, possibly dead animals, definitely manure. Ah, uh, no sidewalks. <laughs> no sidewalks. The first sidewalks were built for the very purpose of lifting pedestrians out of the filth, but New York didn't add them until the 18th century. The sidewalk is a fairly new invention in human history. In the meantime, the Dutch made room for horse-drawn traffic by widening the road, which earned it another name. They called it Breedeweg, Breedeweg. Which is Dutch. Yeah, and it means Broadway in two words. Broadway. 